Hey guys, Coach Joey and Coach Connor here with Trinity Kicking. Today we want to talk to you about the technique involved in the Trinity no-step drill. You're going to receive instructions about how to do a no-step drill that involve you setting up on the goal line and swinging your leg trying to kick a ball over the goal post. That is not the proper technique you want to use. Remember, we're going to separate your kick into segments. The no-step drill addresses directly the very end of your kick. Distance and accuracy are greatly impacted by the compression of the air inside the ball. So we want to help you increase that compression, that force with which you kick the ball, by incorporating more major muscle groups in your body. The snapping your knee can generate a certain amount of foot speed, but the power behind the kick comes from you using a longer fulcrum. Higher fulcrum, greater mechanical advantage. So we're going to illustrate that now with our kicker, Coach Connor. The first thing we want to do is we want to incorporate our pecs into the kick. So in order to do that, we're going to put our balance arm straight out. Now, as you do this, you will feel on your pec that that muscle has not been engaged, that it is not loaded. That's a term that we use in sport. If you move this arm slightly back, and have your hand on the peck, you're going to feel that peck engage. You're going to feel it load. So now it is prepared to help you with the kicking motion. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to stand straight up, almost military style, in an uncomfortable manner. You are not going to be comfortable doing this drill. But when you stand up, again, you will feel the muscles in your core load and so now you are ready to use pecs and core in conjunction. The third group of muscles are one of the largest groups of muscles in your body and that's in your quad. So what we're going to do is in this position we're going to have you move your kicking leg back keeping your upright position. Your body is going to constrict how far back that leg goes and what we term is back is back means once your body stops that leg from going back that's far enough the objective is to pull your leg through the strike zone as high as it will go remember this drill is designed to help you with the end of your kick so when you're going to go back and i'm going to hold on to connor so he can hold it back there his body is going to stop him from going farther back. His brain's going to tell him that he wants to. He has to resist that. And the resistance is by remaining straight up and down. So when he goes back, his brain should be saying, I am going to pull my leg through the strike zone as high as I can. And that's how you finish a kick. You want to see in your film as you develop your ability to do this drill, your foot go higher and higher at the end, and that's how you judge it. Set your phone up on the side. All you need to do, you keep this posture and increase the amount of follow through signified by how high your foot goes through the ball. So, Connor, let's try that. Beautiful. Remember, greater muscle capacity, incorporating more major muscle groups, will give you the strength that you need to compress the air in the ball, thereby increasing your accuracy and your distance. <laughs>